opposite, opposite, opposite. How do you feel, punk? Cause I feel like I look great. <laughs> What's up guys, Stephen Johnson stocks. A little bit red in the face because it's a little bit hot in fucking Dubai. Gonna try and do this in one take uh, for no better reason than other than I feel fucking sexual. So let's get into it. The theme of the show is opposites. The webinar highlights from the challenges, Tim Bourne and Mark Crook, valuable lessons. This is show like week 24. We're coming up to the half year mark, which says I am here to stay. But I want to talk about opposites because it is human nature to when you feel like the bathtub's too hot, you just don't get in the bath. When you're in Positano, Italy, and someone tells you to jump off some rocks, something inside says, don't jump off them rocks. You protect yourself. And when you're feeling a bit tired and you don't have much cash, but you're a bit lonely, and you're on Craigslist and you're looking at some hookahs, your body's saying, don't pay for a hookah, you'll regret it. But all I'm telling you is, get the hookah. Buy that hookah. But I'm using prostitution as a metaphor, and I'm not judging or objectifying prostitution because they're making an independent, empowering living, just like anybody else. And if anything, I think it empowers women to sell the body. As much as an oxymoronic statement that appears to be on the surface, but you've got to dig a bit deeper. And this is why I shouldn't do these in one take, because I go on crazy rants. But the point is, Sometimes you've got to do what your body tells you not to do. And if we check out something like AVEO, like it's spiking, 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 and then it hits its resistance and comes down and everyone's chasing that spike to get in on the move. But you've got to be preparing for the resistance and shortening to that spike and doing the opposite on the downside, looking for the panic and buying off support when it's buying into them sellers. And it took me a really long time to learn this concept I had to really meet Roland in person and he really explained this to me at Tim Sykes' Market Mastery in Positano. And although Roland probably wouldn't advocate this short on AVEO, even though it's overextended because I saw him say it in the chat room, um, he did say this about buying off support and resistance. And this is my take on it after having a conversation with him. There's a, a, a line of, of support or resistance on a 15 minute chart going back 10 days. And once it double, t it double tops or double bottoms or even gets near that support within 10 cents, that's when you can start sizing and risking off that support or resistance level. But people lose because they try and jump onto a move. Okay, and I'm going to leave it at that. Enjoy the show. Enjoy the episodes. We will not fail. Live the dream. Always be inspired. I'll see you later. Uh, this is a live Mark Crook webinar. Well, it was live on... 6th of July, talking about CERC, I encourage you to look at the multi-day chart on the 6th of July to understand where we're coming from with this, but really, really interesting, and it's about the support and the resistance that I was talking about in the other section, Nelly said prelude, but you can see this top here, and you can see the bottom, and shorts are shorting at the top, dip buyers are dip buying at the bottom, but Mark, interestingly, wants to buy it into the close because he knows that shorts are likely cover into the close and it's gonna push it through overnight. Or at least that's what I'm thinking, but let him explain. You know, I like CERC uh, for a potential gap. Um, it's just holding up nicely. Um, you know, I'd love to, to buy the dip again, um, but you never know. I mean, maybe, maybe one doesn't hold the next dip, so. Uh, you know, ideally, this just continues consolidating up here, and and then I maybe take a small position right around 3:30 Eastern uh, for you know a big move, um, perhaps. 
to the one thirties, one forties, one fifties in in the after hours, I could see that um, you know with eighteen point nine million shares, almost nineteen million now. I mean, this is trading very bullishly. I mean, it's 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 held it held support nicely. It's um, sucked in a lot of shorts, and you'll hear Tim talk about that a lot. Where you have a lot of shorts amateur shorts who are coming in on the first day and uh they get squeezed out and yeah and i mean i'll leave it at that but it's it's literally i mean shorts covering into the close happens a lot towards 330 east and i think that's why he's referencing buying it and yeah they'll, they'll all squeeze themselves out into the close and it's a first green day and it's high volume This is Tim Bourne in a live challenge webinar and it's a real gem to end with and, and it's a good lesson for me as well because in Stocks to Trade Pro it's like a, you get the morning webinars and you get the sometimes the afternoon webinars then you get the evening strategic webinars every single day and you'll have to think like every single day or three times a day Tim Bourne has been saying these stocks that they'll have the spike they'll they'll hold view up and then they'll run into the close, the, the good buys. And, and he's referencing ZN here. And yesterday it was DCTH. It was a similar VWAP hold. And it's finally sunk in. But it's funny, like, you need to be, you need to hear it a hundred times before it sinks in. And, and that's why I want to highlight it because it's such a solid, solid, solid pattern that's working in this market right now. Um, ZN will go into more. But first of all, I just want to let Tim Bourne explain it as he explains it. But that is just a quick peek into Michael Good's trading room. So, um, what do we got? At this point, ZN, um, you know, I want a high a day push for later. Um, a lot of, you know, you know, everybody kind of got long this in the morning. It failed that high a day break a couple times. I'm still watching for that high a day push later. Um, my goal would be at that high a day of round 468. Um, it did hit 477, you know, so my goal would be kind of back at that high a day push area with risk back on VWAP um, for later. You know, the, the momentum has kind of petered out here early, but, uh, but, but again, if it gets back there, and I got to reset my alert. Plenty of time, you know, especially a trade I've been making a lot lately. Um, you know, ZN did not run as much as I like, but um, a trade I've been making lately is these early morning runners. Now, again, ZN didn't run that much. It was up, you know, a little bit. They run, then they hold, they, they kind of hug around VWAP through the middle of the day, and then they perk up late day to that high a day. Um, so again, extrapolate this chart out. Yeah, and I mean, Tim Bourne says it better than anyone. I'm doing a poor job repeating. But I mean, if we just look, uh, I mean, this is ZN right now. If we look at the kind of, I mean, just so you guys know, uh, the two-month chart, uh, ZN is on its first green day, which is kind of interesting because it's had a big retracement. It's a I don't like this doji, but if we look at the kind of the even the one day, and it's going to be a little bit slow because I'm running bloody webinars and everything. Yeah, um, and then we just add VWAP on. We can see if if it hugs VWAP and it picks what's high day, it's maybe a nice first green day buy, and if and DCTH was the same thing. I mean, we, we don't see the VWAP on it because I'm looking a day ahead, but DCTH ran, it hugged this VWAP area, picked through high of day. I mean, if you're buying around VWAP in the 17s, you had a run till the 19s, it got up to the 20s in the after hours. It was a classic first green day pattern. And I mean, if we look at the two month chart, we can see it was first green day you could have bought it anywhere in the 17s sold in the 19s 20s and you're talking 12 percent it, it spikes it holds vwap and it runs into the close generally i think this is what tim bones referencing in zn it's happened in dcth yesterday 
you just need to be in the stocks to trade pro or the challenge to see it enough times and you start identifying these patterns. All right, and that's a wrap. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, and I just want to close out with a cool clip. It's uh, me, Roland Wolf, uh, Michael Good, Tim Sykes. Uh, I think the Swede is uh, on there as well. We're on a boat to Positano for the nicest pizza ever in Italy. And um, I just want to end it to say that, like, I saw Tim Sykes on an ad. I'm not a rich person. Didn't come from a rich family. I saw Tim Sykes on an ad a year ago. And I've worked and worked and worked and worked. But you have got to work relentlessly. Like, relentlessly. If you if you don't have a full-time job, then fine, do eight hours and that's it and have, like, free time. But if you have a full-time job and you're trying to change your life, it has to be indescribable. Like, not maybe not indescribable, but, like, at least two or three hours every single night to get somewhere and I've been doing it on the challenge for nine months now and on Stocks to Trade Pro and only now am I having back to back green weeks. Only now am I thinking I'll size up a bit. If you understand what I'm saying, comment the word sacrifice and don't be like, oh, I'm not commenting anymore because he says it every video. Comment the word sacrifice if you really understand and I'll play out with Positano Italy. It's me, Sykes, Good, Wolf. Work hard, live the dream and it will come. It will come. How much you waiting, guy? All right, next step, oh next trip. Uh, heading to a pizza party. And who did that tattoo? Have Everybody, Roland, yeah. listen, wait till you hear who did this tattoo. This is a photographer guy. Oi, Lottie. That's, that's recent. Oh, Get him up, Bowie! Get him up, Bowie! Get him up, Bowie! Hey, we'll stop now. <laughs> <laughs> he likes the Scottish accent. Scottish accent. Come on this side. Look at